Hi everyone and welcome. If you're new here, my name is Christina. If you're not new here, my name is still Christina, but I'm really glad to have you back. Today's video is going to be an oldie, but what I think will be a goodie, and that is The Fog. I know I saw the remake of it, but I haven't seen this one. So I figure, why not? Why not travel to the past? If you notice this, apologies, uh, I slipped my finger open <laughs> on a can. Yes. I cannot be left alone. I need a chaperone. If anybody would like to volunteer, please do comment down below. Uh, because uh, if I'm left alone, I hurt myself somehow. Hashtag accident prone. Also, sorry for the delay. I was supposed to be having some stuff, medical stuff, uh, but it got pushed back. So I'm here until further notice. What an exciting intro. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you guys like this kind of content, I hope you will give this video a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe. Because in case you didn't know, subscribing is cool. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications so you get notified for new uploads. And without further ado, let's get into the movie. Let's do this. Cheers. Ting. Come on, Foggy. Let's do this. Is all that we see or see but a dream within a dream. Edgar, food for thought. Oh, something that finally fits in the cup holder. 11.55, almost midnight. Enough time for one more story. Well, all right. One more story before 12. Five minutes, it'll be the 21st of April. 100 years ago on the 21st of April, a small clipper ship drew toward land. Suddenly, the fog rolled in. The ship crashed against the rocks. The wreckage sank. With all the men aboard, the bottom of the sea, lay the Elizabeth Dane with her crew, their eyes open and staring into the darkness. As suddenly as it had come, the fog lifted, never came again. But it is told by the fishermen, when the fog returns to Antonio Bay, the men at the bottom of the sea will rise up. Twelve o'clock, 21st of April. I get it. It's the 21st of April. Got it. Thank you, sir, for repeating that for me four times. Okay. 21st of April, guys. Don't forget. John Carpenter's The Fog. I love every Carpenter film is a Deborah Hill production. I love it. Love it. 12 midnight, and we've just started into the witching hour. This is Stevie Wayne, and I'll be here right up until about 1 o'clock. Jamie Lee Curtis. Janet Lee. Mother, daughter. Would you like something to keep you warm on the way home? No, thank you. Father, can I get paid? Why don't you come in and... Uh, six instead of four tomorrow. That gave me like really creepy vibes. And are you allowed to drink, Mr. Priest Father? Bennett? Hello? Hi. Jeremy you John! What the fuck was that? Journal of Patrick Malone, 1880. April 30th, midnight till one belongs to the dead. Good Lord, deliver us. 59 degrees outside. And let me be the first to wish Antonio Bay a happy birthday. We're 100 years old today. Nancy Loomis? Is that Dr. Loomis's... <laughs> 
Oh my god, I thought it was sweeping itself. <laughs> oh, dude, you're fucking gross, man. That's so disgusting. Don't do that. If you, if anybody works in a supermarket or anything like that, please don't do shit to the stuff. That's so. Oh, I hope you die. Just for that. Antonio Bay gift corner. Okay, carpenter. I see you. What the fuck? What the fuck? <clears throat> it's Annie. Girl, I thought I thought Michael killed you. You know, I gotta say, this is the only movie that's not Halloween that I've seen Annie in. I know her name's not Annie, but I don't know what her real name is. My Paul! If you don't have anything to do right now, I'll be here playing music. Keep me turned on for a while. <laughs> But, like, I don't get it, because, like, the fog hasn't rolled in yet, so how is all this shit happening? Like, don't they come in with the fog? Is that Jamie? Did John Carpenter, like, after he filmed Halloween, he was like, you know what? I'm gonna make a movie, and I want, like, every single person in it. Are you weird? Yes, I am weird. You are weird. Yes. You're weird, thank God. You're my 13th friend. Oh, great. Weird and unlucky. Okay, I don't know which, if it's me or if this movie is genuinely giving me, like, has great jump scares, but, like, what the fuck? It's exactly 12 minutes after midnight, and in case you've forgotten, it's April 21st. And a happy birthday for Antonio Bay. We know! I've got a position on a trawler about 15 miles out. And I've got something on my scope. Uh, it appears to be a fog bank 25 miles out, moving in their direction. I'm hearing shit. For the men of the seagrass, 15 miles out tonight. A warm hello. And keep a watch out for that fog bank heading in from the east. He's crazy. There's no fog bank out there. No <laughs> fog bank out there. There's a fog bank out there. No fog bank out there. No fog bank out there. There's a fog bank out there. You fucking idiot. What was it? A light. The pirates are coming! Who's there? It's -a me, a Mario! Where did all that light come from? Who is that? What's the boogeyman? I don't know, but they look like the guy from I Know What You Did Last Summer with the hooks. <laughs> I don't remember why they like want revenge or whatever. The fog bank has moved due west and probably missed the ship entirely. I've got a wind blowing due east. Now what kind of a fog moves against the wind? Not bad. <laughs> Jamie, you slept with him? <sighs> Never chance to do anything I want to do. What do you want to do? I don't know. Uh, what? Oh, a mosquito. I'm gonna have to kill you. It's one o'clock straight up, the end of the witching hour, and time for me to sign off. This is Stevie Wayne, your 
Good night. Good night, Stevie Wayne. What am I looking at? What is he seeing? Where the fuck did that come from? I gotta say, Carpenter is great with music. Sorry, I have to be on the lookout for that maquito. I don't want to get bit up. Gotta be eagle eyes over here. First it was a gold coin, and then it turned into this neat piece of wood. Mom, can I have a stomach powder and a Coke? A stomach powder and a Coke? Al and I got drunk so many times together I can't count them all, but we never got so shit-faced we couldn't make it back in. Too good a sailor to stay out there all night and not let somebody know. Is that the most... Is that a crooked? nothing to kill it with. Then we will have speeches by the mayor, sheriff. Is that Janet? Shit. Shit. Huh. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, now I'm creeped out. boat last night and didn't come home. He still isn't back. Daryl, he might have had engine trouble. They said not to worry. She's so pretty. Annie, what you doing hanging out with Jamie's mom? This town sits around for a hundred years and nothing happens and then one night the whole place falls apart. My home. No keys. Water in the generator. But the deck is dry as a bone. If you'll just say a little prayer asking that he not be in his cups. I say a little prayer for you. Forever and ever. Not a good sign. You stay in my heart when I see. Thought I'm alone. Is he dead? Thought I'm alone. Jesus. Dude, what the fuck? I'm so sorry, this video is so hectic right now. But like, there's like random ass liquids popping up. Met with Blake this evening. It looks like either blood or Kool-Aid, which doesn't make sense. What a vile disease this is. He is a rich man with a cursed condition. This does not prevent him from trying to better his situation and that of his comrades. What's going on? Blake's proposition is simple. He wants to move off Tansier Island and relocate the entire colony just north of here. He has purchased a clipper ship called the Elizabeth Dane. Asks only for permission to settle here. I must balance my feelings of mercy and compassion toward this poor man with my revulsion at the thought of a leper colony only a mile distant. <laughs> drank a lot of beer last night. Yeah, every night. What's it like? It's always the same. Room starts spinning. I mean fishing. Goes. Salt water. She was clean two nights ago. I checked her out myself, and now it's as if she's been turned over in the water. Mm. April 20, from midnight until 1 o'clock, we plan the death of Blake and his comrades. I tell myself that Blake's gold will allow the church to be built, but it does not soothe the horror that I feel being an accomplice to murder. My father was a fisherman. Saw a brig under short sail, hidden right for him. I don't know what that means. A boat? Yeah, he radioed. There was no reply. Nothing moved on the deck, but she held her course. No one was on board. There was food on the table and a hot, steamy cup of coffee. But underneath, the tin cup was rusted to the table. And then something caught my father's eye. It was a gold doubloon, minted in Spain, 1867. My dad picked up the coin, put it in his breast pocket of his jacket, and he unzipped the pocket to give me the coin. It was gone. April 21st, the deed is done. 
Blake followed our false fire on shore, and his ship broke apart on the rocks off Spivey Point. We were aided by an unearthly fog that rolled in as if heaven sent. God had no part in our actions tonight. Blake's gold will be recovered tomorrow, but may the Lord forgive us for what we have done. Our celebration tonight is a travesty. Uh-huh. We're honoring murderers. So don't. They killed them all for what? Their gold? Wow, what a trek. I would not be able to walk that with my leg. That shit would take me like seven hours to get down there. But like, are they choosing who they want to kill? Because like, if you're like an ancestor of the people who did the, the killing, like, but what if you're someone who just moved there? Do, like, do they know the difference? Do they care? Probably not, but. Where did you find this? My grandfather hid his sins. In the walls. When did you find it? Last night, after midnight. Same time the rest of the town fell apart. Antonio Bay has a curse on it. We're all cursed. Mm-hmm. Didn't say that again. We're all cursed. But again, what if I just moved there and I have no ties to any of this? These these pirates gonna come kill me? Or what? Stone, a plumbing stone, my God. Six must die. Okay, well you killed, you killed three, so three more must die. Ten. You okay? No. His wounds are covered with algae. His lungs are full and there's silt under his fingernails. I saw Dick Baxter three days ago in Salinas. Now he's lying in there on the table, looking like he's been underwater for a month. Nope. Are you fucking kidding me? Nah. -uh. Jamie, do you not have peripheral vi vision? Come on. Nope. Jamie Lee Curtis really is like the queen of horror. Three. Three more. Oh, three more. I so smart. Yeah, I so smart. Happy 100th, Antonio Bay. The ceremonies are underway at Shelby Square. Hope no one else gets lost out there in the fog. She gonna die. I saw the fog last night. Out in the ocean in the distance. It was glowing. Something happened last night. At the same time that fog was moving in, this whole town went unglued. Let me try to guess who's gonna die. I think the the lady at the lighthouse is gonna die. Maybe the weatherman guy? Another fog bank. Where? It's heading inland. Should be here at the weather station in five, ten minutes. Repeating. A fog bank is moving southwest along the coast. Oh, well, there's something different about this fog, Dan. It glows. Oh, I get it. You take something to keep you going, right? Does it make you feel a little weird sometimes? What's happening? Someone's shining a light through the window. Okay, so he is gonna die. I don't know who the last one's gonna be. Dan, stay away from the door! Anybody here? Some asshole got drunk and started taking this hundred year old business too seriously. Oh, okay. I think, okay. Two left. I think this will be her and then the priest. Because his grandfather? Break up? I don't know. He's related to the guy who. Blah, 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 blah. So all of us living here in Antonio Bay today owe a great debt of gratitude to those men and women a hundred years ago who struggled and sacrificed to make this town grow into what it is today. And it is up to us to keep their kind of spirit alive. I have an urgent bulletin. Will Sheriff David Sims please contact KAB Radio immediately? Hello? 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 Lady, get out of there. No, leave! That looks like one of the trucks from one of the Halloween movies. What's that now? It looks like a fog. Candy, get out of the house! Mrs. Comrade, get him out of the house, please! Hello? Hello! Don't do it. I want you to go to your room. I think I should stay. Right now. Don't kill the old lady. What'd the old lady do? She didn't do nothing. 
Just because someone knocks at the door doesn't mean you have to answer it. Shut the door. Please don't kill her. Come on. She didn't do nothing. Shut the door. Okay, so I guess I was wrong. My son is trapped. 887 White Beach Lane. Wow, they really trying to kill that kid. Okay. I see you. So there's one person left. I feel like it's gonna be the lighthouse lady. Or the priest. I don't know. Andy, I don't even know if you can hear me. I'm sorry that I didn't come for you, that I wasn't there. Andy, please understand. I have to stay here. No, you don't. The fog is moving inland. It's moving faster now. Up to the end of Small House Road. Get inside and lock your doors. Close your windows. There's something in the fog. If you can get out of town, get to the old church. So maybe it will be the priestess last. Well, where are we going? We'll find it. No matter where we go, we'll find us. Sir, get off the booze. At all. That was on the, the three men on the seagrass. And the weatherman is four? Yeah, five. I am the thief, and God's temple is the temple. <laughs> 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 Wait, so they stole a big ass gold cross from these people? They melted down the gold into this. <laughs> Kid, if he doesn't go in there, then that means your mom dies, so... If you... if you... Oh. If you melted the gold down into a cross, why would you hide it? This is your gold, Blake. My grandfather stole it from you. I'm the one who must answer for it. Not really. Can't, uh, you're not responsible for what your grandfather did. I'm Father Malone. Take me. Oh! Girl! Oh, I thought she got stabbed in the throat. Oh! Jamie in her chokehold? I thought that was Annie. Is the priest dead? They spared one. Well, not really. He saved him, but... So they just wanted their gold back? I'm happy you live, lady. I don't know what happened to Antonio Bay tonight. Something came out of the fog and tried to destroy us. In one moment, it vanished. If this has been anything but a nightmare, and if we don't wake up to find ourselves safe in our beds, it could come again. The ships at sea who can hear my voice, look across the water into the darkness. Look for the fog. <sighs> it's coming back for you, boo. I mean, you can't really. Oh. Uh. The woman was too stunned to speak. <sighs> Did he just like. Right, movie over. It was good. It was good. This is a, a genuinely good movie. It had tension. It had the jump scares. Like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and, 
It had jump scares. It had... Oh, fuck. I don't know what that is, but I want to kill it. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to kill this motherfucker. I'm going to get you, motherfucker. I'm going to get you. Ah! I'm going to get you. Yeah. What is this? You know what? I'm not going to focus on it. I'm just going to uh, carry on. Okay. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. This is the weirdest video I have filmed. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, so sorry about that. I know I saw the remake. I don't really remember much about it, except I thought they were pirates coming through the fog. I don't, I don't know. This movie was great. I loved Jamie. I loved that her mom was in it. I loved that Annie was in it. I loved like, <sighs> the effects, you know, were, were, were great. First time, again. It's time. The acting was really good. Okay, so the acting was really good. The score was great. The cast was great. <sighs> I'm gonna be very gentle with this finger. It had a really good amount of jump scares. I don't um, really get affected by jump scares, but I feel like this movie affected me. Another banger from Carpenter. I feel bad for the old lady who... And then we're gonna kill a little kid. For what? It was a really good movie. I'm really glad I got to check this off my list. I was entertaining. I do apologize for the interruptions. I don't like bugs, okay? I don't like mosquitoes. I don't care what it is. I don't like it. So if I see it, I become laser focused and I, I just like need to keep an eye out for it. So I'm really sorry if that affected this reaction. There is one thing that I saw that I didn't get to kill. So that's worrying. I genuinely enjoyed this movie. I really, I, the score, I really did enjoy a lot. Like Carpenter is just top notch with the scores. I'm not really sure what else to say. If you guys liked this reaction, I hope you will give this video a like, comment down below, and hopefully um, subscribe. I mean, it's free, you know? I'm cool, you're cool. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this. I really do appreciate it. And I really do appreciate you. It really does mean a lot. So thank you. In case anyone's interested, I do have a Patreon. I do have a PO box if you want to send me your chat or something. Everything is listed in the description. Just putting it out there. Yeah, other than that, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you're all doing well. Stay safe. Stay you. I love you guys. Other than that, until next time, I will see you guys in the next one.